Hey guys, welcome back to another episode by Stoby. You join us in a different world. Yeah, mm. I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see an old world of ours. So Why this not? is from two this years ago. One or two years ago. It was um, made in the 1.14 update. Really? Yeah, 1.14. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? And um, you can see that this is quite an expansive world. Um, we built a lot here. So, I think what we should do first is we start should with your way. sleep with the mo. Oh, I nearly died. Oh, I'm gonna eat the yeah. apple. <laughs> I think that's probably why, Sam. <laughs> okay, just gonna sleep. There's a few data packs on this world for like multiplayer. Right, so sleep number and stuff. one, I'm going to criticize this house. Yeah, it's a bit what weird. What were it? you thinking? It's very odd. I completely <laughs> agree, but I mean, this one works. This works. Yeah. But, but yeah, this one was a bit odd. This was my thinking? main house with my storage system and all my stuff in. Um, that was the first house that I built for myself. What is this? <laughs> it was a snowman f um, thing oh. for snow. Yeah. Um, the m most important thing in this world, which is very interesting, I would say, is this. This is a fully automatic sugarcane farm. Is it fully automatic? Sorry, it's not fully automatic. But no, you have to hit the button. So I am walking around and I see that my sugarcane is done. So I just thwack this button. It sets off a flying machine. And then if we jump underneath, then we can see that as we get to the... Oh, I want to see this mechanism. Right, come on then. As the flying machine gets to the end... Because this go on, go underneath. Because we won't be able to see the minecart. So it's got a detector it there. here. And it sends a signal off, and it comes down, and it actually powers this minecart, which then comes out and um, picks, picks up, up all the sugar, sugar cane. cane. It then puts it into this unloading system, into this dropper. I haven't got an auto dropper, I've just got it firing constantly, which was extremely annoying, but that's what it is. And then it went up here in this very small bubble column, into this chest, where we've got only a small amount of sugar cane. Insane amount of sugar cane. But, uh... And then I've got another build here. This is just experimentation with strip logs and roofs, roofs, and it's got a weird sign that says "No cheating," because I did something with Sam. You put obsidian. Apparently. Didn't you put obsidian here? Yeah. And then took away my pick or something. Yeah, yeah, I did to prank you. But yeah, I built this hay bale pile, and then used armor stands to make it look a bit more interesting. I thought right, it I think quite our cool, breed actually. is broken. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was so a village. So this is our massive villager set up in this world. Yeah. Um, the building is actually quite definitely cool. broken. They're not meant to be there. <laughs> yeah, no. This is the old 1.14 design, which doesn't, doesn't work, work anymore because um, they spawn on their beds. Yeah. Rather so than teleporting back, back into, into where they're meant to be. But what was supposed to happen is these guys would spawn. Don't jump, Sam. You will die. Because <laughs> I put feather falling on my boots. Um, just for this demonstration. Wow. But yeah, villagers come in here, then we can get a minecart, pull them out, set their trades, lock them in, put them through this weird setup here, convert it's them, what, what but this converter this? also no longer it's works. It's a weird staircase. It's a return system. Oh yeah, it's like, so it goes them up, up here. there, it goes down there, and then you've got the storage. Doesn't this work? I thought this would still work. No, actually it doesn't. It's very it's very sad that that doesn't work. We have to All think right. of a new design, but it goes oh, up yeah. here. Then this, we this can bit, that village put in this way or this there. way. But then this is a villager. I know the I, I I I love this creeper hole repairing. Like look look how expert that you repaired that creeper <laughs> hole. But yeah, we've got a very large villager set up, and um, mm -hmm. my favourite villager is this guy. He does. He's got quite good traits. He says lure and mending. And then there's a few others. Yeah, which ones are mine? Because mine were these guys. This guy sells efficiency five yours. and silk touch. This guy is yours. That guy's yours. Where's mine? Is this There's guy mine? A lot of shop um, boxes. But, uh, that guy's... A why does that guy died? produce trades? Because uh, you traded him with him once or twice, even though he's right, mine. This guy. This guy's I mine. I don't know what that lever does. But yeah, there's weird stuff in here. But unfortunately, um, quite I a few of these guys have died. I think this something at the top. Yeah, look, uh, it does that. Redstone does that. Oh yeah, this is where you can set it. So that each of these levers means that the villager drops there. It's actually yeah. quite a cool system. But our 
our system is better. Our system that we're going to use is, get, is much better. Um, I think next thing to explore is your base. My base. Which is just over here in this weird... If I can get out of this building. Weird little cobblestone block thing with a guy yeah, falling off the wall, which is a bit grim. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. This is my base. There were actually it's originally... full of sheep. There were originally two buildings here. But you... Tore down this one. No, you burnt it. Oh, I just died. Nice. Because of that. Was... <laughs> Thank God. Ugh. That was, that was actually really impressive, Sam. But yeah, I don't have feather falling, so I'm, I'm so used to having sheep. feather falling. And you were going to sell me the wool, because... Yeah, there was a big shopping district where we would sell each other stuff. So this Sam's house, storage system, everything like that with weird stuff. Um, but... <laughs> Another cool thing with this is if we go down here and then just go into this cave while we wait for Sam to re recover his stuff. This is actually a really big mine to um, for how Sam got all his diamonds. Look at this. It's absolutely massive. You think but that's a big mine? That's quite a small one. <laughs> Pretty big for not having mark. haste. For not having haste, it's pretty yeah, big. Yeah, I don't think I ever actually had a beacon in my base. No, the beacons were all mine. They were, they were all yours. You yeah. did the I was the only one who could kill the wither. But, uh, D could you cheat it in 114? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you've. Oh, well, I can't find There it. are loads of cats here. Mm. And that might realise for Is you. That? If I go on to spectation it's mode... It's a very big gunpowder it's farm. It's a gunpowder farm, and it oh. actually works very well. So if you go back up to my top of my base and grab my stuff, because I can't bother to get it. Uh, no, oh. I can't be asked either. It's fine. So if you have a look it at just this... Despawn. So it's actually it fast to go through the portal in this place. It's so big. So but, uh, if yeah, I, I just probably should have done like a water elevator. Actually, did, did that exist? Did yeah. water elevators exist? For yeah. some reason, there's a zombie here. But yeah, this is our nether. And um, it's literally another hub, because if we go through there, there's another portal over there, and then another one over there as well. It's a big place, mm -hmm. but it's kind of cool. Um, yep, this is our starter mine. Have to ring it every single time. It was there, because we that was how we transported the villagers, the original villagers. Are they attracted? Yeah, they are attracted to bells, aren't they? Uh, nope, I just had it there, because why not? Because but why not? But if we not? go up here, and just swoop over to this prismarine pillar. Now, you might we be wondering how we got the prismarine that's here. You'll find out later. You'll find out. And you'll also see where we got the idea for using a prism. Using right, if we weigh here, yeah, look. There you go, it's creeper like, farm. It's not a bad creeper farm, to be honest. Yeah, it produced pretty well. We just never properly AFK'd, so it never... I always AFK'd here. Which is like the most terrible idea ever. Because if you don't know, you have to be 24 blocks away before mobs will spawn. So if I have K up here, I'm within the 24 block radius, so no mobs would spawn nearby. So, um, if I have AFK'd on top of the creeper farm, it would produce zero gunpowder. The next important thing that we built was this little side project that I had. Which was a mine, you know, before the case and cliffs update. But, uh, you know, um, it's quite nice. It's very textured, it's very interesting. And then if we just press this button, <gasps> yep, we've got a secret passageway. There used to be a diamond pile there, but it's just a lovely piston setup and stuff there. It's very cool. Now, if we go down here, there's like barrels. I textured all this and mined all this out. It looks so good. Raven, I. Oh, I don't even know where that mine is. It's quite far away, don't bother Sam. It's is it this crafting table or is that your mine? No, that's the main mine that we originally used. But uh, if we go up this tower, let's see if I can. Yes. Oh, it kind of works. that was my tower. Nope, this is mine. But uh, yeah, this oh, is okay. this is a lovely view. It's it would be a brilliant AFK spot, but there's a uh, there's no farm, so it's not an AFK spot. Why do I have a second helmet? Oh, that's your helmet. Yeah, you've stolen my helmet. Ouch. Ouch. I'm really bad at flying today for some reason. There we go. So, if we just Alright, so if we over head over to the nether, we can show you the last thing we built in this world. The last two things, actually. 
Oh, there are two things. There are two things which are very cool. Where's your portal? Or are they all in uh, it's over in here. It's over here, Sam. By the crafting table. Oh yeah, I know. I thought you might actually have one that wasn't in a cave. Can you see my rockets? <gasps> no, I can't. Oh. Because the crafting tables... There's so many random crafting tables. That oh one. yeah. This, that one with this, the this right here... This nature reserve here was where our old house was. And then we tore it down and built our own houses. Um, there were loads of cows, so we put just a nature it reserve there because we thought, why not? Yeah, but if we swoop ourselves down into this cave, it's very, it's very laggy. It's very laggy all this world. I have no idea why, but there's nothing you know. in this should be laggy. Uh, the arm stands can cause a bit of lag. But if we just hop through this oh, portal. I forgot to lock them. This is our main portal and if we just go through here this is the nether that goes to Sam's base I don't even know why we have it it's completely useless but if we are you saying my base go around is useless here. no but you can walk there in about two minutes we go here there's a portal here which we need to check out first oh yeah it's, cause it's over here no that way <laughs> oh yeah there we go why do we um, have this massive elaborate path to it? It's our skelly bones farm. If we just wait here. Oh! Oh. What? Oh, I'm you fell in lava. That. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that and then just do that. It's very <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a big old skelly bones farm here. And, um. It was. It um. produced all of our XP for a long old time until we, um, got the thing that's in. Oh, here. this is the. Get the skeleton off the top of the spawner thing, because sometimes the, if you have a spawner farm like this, sometimes the skeleton or something will spawn on top of the spawner, and it greatly reduces the rate of the farm. So you just need to go up and attract now, it if off. If we go over here, then there's a another portal and fire and a ghast. For some reason I have a crossbow on me. That wasn't my original weapon on this world, but I have crossbow. Where's the ghast? But uh, if we hop through this portal, this is the most important thing, I would say. Maybe second most important, but most important thing in this world. Don't fall in lava, Sam. There we go. This is a guardian farm. As you can see, like, by the thousands of guardian... Oh, I'm gonna die. You can die again. Yes, I'm yeah, going to die again. This is our guardian farm for this world. This is what inspired us to build the guardian farm for... Oh. Uh, wow. I so this, this is the guardian farm. Apparently I'm now presenting it because someone couldn't keep alive for more than two minutes. Um, Don't pick up my stuff, please. I already have. Don't worry about it. No, you haven't. Right. Head up to the top. Can I just get some of my stuff? Yeah, you got it your electric there. I think I've stolen your rockets. Ugh. It's such an annoying corridor. Yeah, I know, it's r it's actually and infuriating. it's actually hideous. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just want like, to dump sea lanterns everywhere. But yeah, if we I love how this staircase, it looks so much like we've actually tried to make it look nice, but all we've done is just put prismarine in the floor. Can I, can I have my rockets, please? No. So, yes. this is the top of the Guardian farm. This is actually a similar design to the one you may have seen us building on our main series. But uh, it's slightly less good for a variety of reasons, which I will show if I can have some rockets. Um, oh. Okay, right, I'm going on spectator mode. Yeah, go on spectator mode, because otherwise you actually might die. Yeah, so the main two things that are worst about this farm is this is super inefficient. Look at this, they go up and then across and then but down. Also, if I look down really here, odd. look. Look at this. Look we at didn't all these use. wasted guardians. It's too small. It's and like finally, there's lava here. In the original design from the video that we watched, it was there to make it, it weakens so that the, guardians the guardians so that when they drop down, they're on like half a heart. But what actually happens is they just swim in the lava and then die. And then die, and it's And also a bad useless. thing about this is, they can kill squids, and their ink sacs can go up, across, 
and then we can. And then normally you collect them because you know having the ink sacks was useful, but not in this design. In this design, they just get burnt. Or they stay on this platform, which is so, completely yeah. useless. So this design was um pretty terrible to be honest. Yeah, but uh, and also um, did I just not bother at all? Oh no, I did that because um. I thought Guardians were 2x2, two two, so I just said, right, we don't but, need to um, do that then. As They're proven not. by, if I can see, this Guardian right here, you're wrong. I was very wrong. They are actually this one by one cool. by one. And look, there you go, there's another one hiding there. But yeah. Um, so that's why you should follow our design of Guardian Farm. Yeah, because it's better. Because it's better, but yeah. I don't know if there's any more for this world for no. this video, to be honest. So, uh, thank you guys so. for watching. If you love this video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of our next video. Adios.